Hello and welcome to One Connection. Today we're going to talk to uh, Richard Clark and he is from um, UK and he's now living in Ibiza. Welcome Richard. Hi, how are you today? I'm fine, how are you? Yes, very well, thank you. Nice, nice, lovely, fairly warm day here in Spain, so I'm all good. Very good. Uh, you know, uh, we love to hear your story about how you joined uh, SFM, but before you, you tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about what you did before. Um, okay, so what, recently, I not recently, but the past kind of ten years or so. This, we won't go too far back because that's you know boring. But the last ten years or so, I've been in the property industry, um, as well as being kind of uh, on my own and you know doing life coaching and things like that. But my main full time job is in the property industry, working as a, an estate agent selling property for a fairly traditional established company or for a couple of companies back where I'm from. Um, and then I did uh, was doing property for myself um, on the side, so a um, bit of buying and selling uh, property, renovating and um, doing my own thing. So fairly well involved in the property business for the last and ten how years. Did yeah. you come across um, SFM? And um, I, I started. I've been in, I've just been doing my property business, and I've been doing it for a means to an end to try and get me to actually come to be able to live in Spain. Um, and then I think at the about a year, well, almost exactly a year ago today, um, I started to think to myself that I needed maybe to look at a business that wasn't quite so bricks and mortar and rooted to the spot. I'd had a few problems with the properties that I was doing because they were all in different, like some was in Spain and some was in the north of England, and I'd had a few problems with the properties and it started to play on my mind that not being near them was quite difficult and I could do with a, an extra business that was online a bit more portable so I didn't start looking at that particular time for SFM I just in generally started looking around okay and um, when you uh, when you came across um, an ad uh, I guess it was an ad uh, for SFM yeah um, what? Stuart on his pedalo. <laughs> Sorry? Stuart on his pedalo. <laughs> but um, what were you thinking about? What were you uh, concerned about? Uh, did it take a long time to make a decision? No, it didn't take long at all. Um, I'd been uh, doing the, in the, this didn't, it happened in April last year or May last year that I actually came across SFM and I'd been looking for uh, an online business from January until may i'd been down a couple of a couple of rabbit holes uh, a few um different affiliate uh kind of type of organizations um and they just didn't fit me and they didn't feel right um and when i came across sfm i knew instinctively that i was in the right place so the decision i wasn't actually looking at the particular time but i was I, it was in my mind that I was looking. I wasn't looking for SFM. It came up to me on Facebook, but I was in the whole scheme of things. I was looking when I started to look into the company ethos and the ethics and the uh, what motivates them and what was driven by. Then I knew absolutely that I was in the right place as soon as I came across it. Oh, that's good. Um, when you think about the mindset, yeah, and the shift. Um, did you have a, a specific uh, experience of this, or did it slowly come to play, come into place? Um, coming from a sales background, being in, as an estate agent, um, I had to. I, I had. I've done a lot of personal development work, and I've done life coaching as well. So my, 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 you know, my awareness is there. But I had to switch that because I imagine I would go online and be selling, and I had to switch that that mindset that your your value you're, you're driving the value and you're providing upfront value for what you want as opposed to just going in and getting a quick sale out of people and driving them forward and making it you know and making it an experience was a mind shift i had to take on board quite quickly um but i love it i love it i love the fact that the ethos is ethos is driving is providing value as opposed to trying to uh, mug people for money out of their pockets mm. Uh, you just mentioned now that um, you are a life coach. Um, mm -hmm. 
Is that something that you are going to combine with SFM as an affiliate or, uh, well, tell us a little bit about your plans. Um, I, I, really, I had life coach before, I qualified for a while. And now I realize now, my, because I've been really focusing on getting my uh, business off the ground and getting the structure ready, because I'm quite, a, quite a, I'm got quite a lot, in, a lot of that in place now. I've, my thinking has come back around to I'm, I'm really passionate about people developing themselves, really passionate about people opening their mind, really passionate about people driving themselves forward. And uh, people just need the tools, you know, they've got it inside them. It's all there. I often think to myself, if I ask you this question, is there a sleeping giant with it, inside you? So many people would say, yes, there is. And they just don't bring it out. And I think that's very recently I've decided I'm going to combine that, bring my life coaching up, use my skills I've learned on the uh, SFM, do some affiliate work, but use my digital skills now to bring my life coaching out and in, in, you know, to the fore for me as well. Well, sounds exciting. <laughs> Um, um, let's talk about um, a blog post I know that you wrote a while ago about goals. Yeah. Um, tell, tell us about the blog post and your experience about that. The, the fact that I'm living here, we mentioned before, I now live here in Ibiza. That was, that was the kind of thing that was driving me through the property business. Like I, I wanted to build up my property business so I could come and live here because I've always felt at here that it's a part of me here so that was a goal of mine because i will feel more complete when i'm in ibiza as in my environment so that's what always drove me forward then what actually happened was the the sfm came along and i realized i could have an online business and the property business kind of i've left behind now because i realized i can have my work from my laptop um so that was a big goal of mine but i had a massive realization not um long after I arrived here because I was excited about being here but then I, I wasn't as excited as I thought I should be and I realized that actually it was because my goal was just not big enough and it was a massive um, realization moment that I, my goal was a quite self-serving it was serving me and b it just wasn't big enough it was more a kind of bucket list you know, something that needs to be ticked off. It wasn't serving humanity. It wasn't adding to the world. It wasn't leaving your mark. It's just coming to live in a different country, which is a big thing. But for me, it was like, this is just not big enough. You need to get your head together. What's your real goal? And then as soon as I let that go, my mind went and my mission then became to come and bring drink clean drinking water to millions of people in the world that don't have it. And then when I got that massive goal, I felt so much more comfortable with it. The other little ones down the line that I haven't achieved seem kind of insignificant because I've got this huge goal now. And now I feel like I'm playing on a big stage. Wow, that is inspiring. And um, I was just talking to you before we record, started the recording here, that when I, um, when I read your blog post about the goals, uh, I really question my own goals <laughs> if they were um, big enough. So it's the same story, really. Um, yeah, I mean, I had some feedback from that post because I did a video that I posted within the kind of F SFM uh, environment on the, on the um, 90 day video journey that um, that you can do to, And I posted that and I had a lot of feedback from other people uh, from that video that said, I, you know, it's made me question my goals. Am I am I shooting for the stars? Am I really playing a big enough game? And I can just see from sitting here on camera that on your picture behind you, it says dream big. And that really is, you know, you, you really got to go for it when you're thinking about your goals. And if you don't hit them, you might hit a little lower. But unless you, you know, unless you dream big, you're not going to get you're not going to get there. I think you should just just dream as big as you can. Yeah, and not only dream, but act too. Act, yeah. Because yeah. I think yeah, there are people watching this video um, wanting to have another lifestyle, wanting to have another life. They have this passion to to be bigger and act bigger, but they don't have the well, tools are, are the opportunity, and SFM is not uh, an opportunity 
make money online um, sort of um, as all the other opportunities uh, mm. i think that sfm can give you so much of coaching and training and awareness of uh, what you can achieve mm. don't you agree I'm no, I do agree. And no, I totally there's there's one that there's one bridge for me. There's always a bridge. And that is you can have all the thoughts in here and, you know, in your mind, whatever you want, whether it's goals or what you want to do next week or even today or tomorrow. And then you can have the result of what you want to do over here. And there's one little bit in the middle that I can only make that happen. And that's action. You can think about it all you like. You can think about the result you like unless you take the action in the middle and start moving towards it. It probably won't be the path that you think you're going to take because it always changes. But unless you take the first step, nothing's going to happen. Okay. Um, if you would uh, say anything to a new member or someone trying to make a decision to join, what would that be? Um, if, if you're even thinking about it being in the space, then you join. Um, you just join and you see what happens and you take that action and you take that step and you move forward. And if you decide it's not for you, then that's okay. But for me, if I can use my coming to uh, Ibiza as an example, when I was back at home working in my job, the thought, the fear of doing it was one thing. The fear of not doing it and regretting it for the rest of my life was far too great. And I would say that to a new member coming in you just until if you've got a little bit of fear that's good because you're stepping outside your comfort zone if you spend the rest of your life not taking that little step forward for something that has the potential to change your life then 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 you should be more fearful of that yeah great closing thoughts uh, and i would like to add that if you like to try it out you can try sfm for 30 days for free yeah, I wanted to. I, did, I mean, that it was was in my mind then. You know, these days, I think when I joined, it was a you know it was a small fee, and then and then the rest is history. And I was very comfortable with that. However, these days, it's accessible for th free for thirty days to come in and have a look around for a large amount of of the back office and the dashboard and and the and the system. And um, like I said, for me, it was a no brainer. For a lot of people, they want to dip their toe in the water. Now you can dip it in for free. It's it's what's why wouldn't you do it? <laughs> exactly. Why wouldn't? <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Richard. No problem. Nice to talk to you. And I'd like to say to everyone watching, uh, if you'd like to visit uh, Richard's uh, website, you can see it on, um, on the blog post down below. And uh, thank you so much for the interview. No problem. My pleasure. Bye. Bye.